Hey guys, welcome to Star Fox 2 on the Nintendo Switch, apparently not just the Super Nintendo Classic anymore. That's yeah, a surprise, and so I'm playing it. And I only played through this game twice, ever. I'll show you, these are my records. My first time ever I was Slippy and Faye, and that was my high score. And then I did it a second time, learned that you could actually put in your initials. That was Falco and Mayu that time, and I did not do as well. But uh, we're gonna do it better this time, on normal at first, because this game is tough, man. Either that or I'm just not used to Super Nintendo Super Effects. We need your help, Star Fox. Andros has declared war. He's invaded the Lilat system and is trying to take over Corneria. Our army alone can't do the job. Hurry, Star Fox. You got it, General. Let's go. Yes, you can pick your own character, dude. That's awesome. I love it. We've got two new recruits, Mayu and Faye. Mayu, all it says about her is the best offense is the best. The best defense is offense or whatever. And Faye is from an aristocratic family and has left high society to protect her home planet. That is all that has ever been said about those characters. And I'm going to start things off by being Falco and probably Slippy because they're the best. You got to love Slip. Ding, 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 dabber. Yeah! Emergency. Emergency. Yes! Oh, it's so good! Star Fox every time, man! Every Star Fox game is just freaking awesome! There needs to be more of it! Why isn't there more of it? They need to remake Command and get rid of the touchpad DS crap and put it on the Switch. Speaking of, this game takes so much... Well, no, this inspired Command. It's a little defense game here on the map. You pick your move and go. Going for the missiles. I'm headed for the missile now. Yeah, let's do it, Falco. So you can press Y to boost and just blast it with the Super FX graphics that make you kind of dizzy, but whatever. It's kind of tricky to get used to, actually. Yeah, scratch one bogey. Clear time, not so great, but yep. Yeah. I mean, there's not really much that shows you're playing as a specific character other than a different color of the R-Wing. But there are two, three different types of R-Wings in this game. I'm getting this missile now. Fox and Falco have your standard R-Wing. Peppy and Slippy have a super defensive one. It has like crazy defense, but it takes a while. Yeah! Fly faster by pressing Ribbit Y. Where's Ribbit Y? Slippy, I need your help. What are you doing? Hurry up! You got radar though, man. Classic Star Fox just spin in circles, chase each other for nine years, and hope that one of you goes down. Ah, crud! Yeah, use your body, that's right. Ace pilot, son. Just smash into everything. I mean, it's better than what they do normally. They claim to be flying around helping you, but it's all only decoration. I'm coming for yous! In the carrier. Or whatever the heck this is. You gotta take them out. Normal's not that big of a deal. You gotta use more strategy on the harder difficulties, which I have yet to play. Out of my way. Yeah, that's right. That's what happens when you fly right in front of me. Those blue things replenish your shields a bit down there on the bottom right. Um, yeah, cool. Yeah, the health is a little bit weird. Obviously, full health, everything is blue. When you get close to the carrier, it always triggers this cutscene. That's all you have to do. Then the music picks up. And here we go. This is awesome. And the walker is in I, I just love it. Even with this terrible graphics, man. Don't forget to press select to transform. You got it, Slip. We'll do it when the time is right. But yeah, your shields go from blue to yellow to red, and they work from right to left, bottom to top. So when everything's red, you're dead. Time to transform into the walker. Let's do it. I love this, man. The graphics and the in there's it eats your inputs like crazy. I was even watching a video of Zallard One, who's like the Star Fox master. Every Star Fox game, that dude gets the highest score. He was in some AGDQs a couple times too for 64 and zero, I think. Yeah. Nothing to it. Not yet. The party's just begun. But yeah, you can see 
Battle Carrier was not so bad. Let's move on. Yeah, let's do it. Slip. You can press select to play as your partner. Which is another strategy element, because if one takes a lot of damage, you might want to switch. We'll give Slippy a shot, because Slippy's not such a screw-up after all. Let's do it. We're going to Titania. What do we got to do? What? This is not a planet. Pigma, you swine! All right, Slippy, let's prove that you're not as useless as people think. Yeah, nice mix. Speaking of that, though, the charge-up shot, which was introduced in this game, um, there's hidden General Pepper medals on all the difficulties, and if you get them all... Crap. There's like a secret planet you can find that has a whole bunch of power-ups, and it gives you this homing lock-on shot, which right now I don't have. But that would be so useful right now. This game is so clunky to control, though. That's the only problem. Like, half the time, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just following the targets and hoping I hit. Mashing L and R to barrel roll. Hoping that it reads the inputs, because even Zallard1 was saying that this game... You could press all the right buttons and sometimes it just doesn't register because it's like using all of the power of the Super Nintendo. Yeah! That's where, that's right, Pigma. You're done. Still better than Star Fox Zero, though, in terms of how they did the dogfighting in that game. Although, that game, I like it. I, want, I might play it again. I did it on my former channel, and it might be time to revive it. Always excited about Star Fox. All right, here we are. We gotta step on three switches in Titania. And we get some new music, finally. The music of this game is awesome. Let me tell you how to control a walking craft. Oh wait, that's General Pepper, not Peppy. Planetary missile headed for Corneria. Yeah, that's the other thing. Everything is moving in real time. But there is a satellite defense system. But you can see Slippy's R-Wing looks like a bullfrog, too. Twice in any direction. Uh-uh. I was not aware of that, really. I don't think. But before you open up the base on every planet, it might be worth your time to explore. For example, what is this? Warp, 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 warp. Yes, that is a smart bomb. But what I've discovered, you see how Slippy has three heart items to start? Whatever, let's get this. Now it's four smart bombs. It's not one smart bomb and then three heart things. There are different power-ups depending on who you pick to start off and just whatever you find. You need to find a switch to open the entrance. Yeah, I'm working on it, Falco. Shut your beak for once, or whatever he says in Star Fox Zero. <laughs> Give it a rest, Falco. Seriously, that's what he says. I'm just exploring, which is probably not what you're supposed to do because time's always ticking. Yes, this is what I wanted. This is twin blasters. That's gonna come in handy. Ah, Croy! What the heck is smashing me? Yeah, that's right, I got twin blasters now. You're done. The Ion Cannon. No way, that's Super Star Wars. Gotta play that game sometime, too. There it is, the base is open! Look at that 2D open that is somehow secretly 3D. I love the music, though, it's so good. Get out of here, what are you? You're done, is what you are. All right, Slip, let's do it. Now the music picks up. So good! But yeah, see, look at how many shields Slippy has and his special power that he starts off with. Ah, Croy! Fly much? I am Slippy. Alright, let's time this one right. Use your boost to get through! Yeah! The defense system destroyed an enemy target. Good job, General Pepper. Rely on us to do all your dirty work for you. But that thing can only fire a missile every so often. You're done! That ah, crud! Don't crash into things, Slip! Jeez! Alright, let's get it together. <laughs> it's so weird, because it's like a 3D game, but it's not at the same time, so it kind of hurts your eyes. Alright, let's, let's go walker mode and wait for this little steam roller. Dodging the bombs and firing the smart bomb. Boom. Now I can get my old heart thing back. See, that's the thing. The smart bomb, you know what that does. That's in every Star Fox game. But this is Slippy and Peppy's so default, weapon. and it restores all of your shields. Like this. Which is immensely useful. My first time playing this, Slippy was my go-to dude, and I needed that so bad. And, um... 
Mayu and Fei have something that's a, it's an S. It just looks like an S. And it's similar to the health recharge, but it's it's like a barrier or something. That's another one down. Oh, that was a planet. That was our first planet. So yeah, Star Fox Command basically took every idea of this game. Andross's bases are nothing, yeah! Yeah, and they brought it back. In a way, I think Star Fox Command does it a little bit better, sort of. But then it has the touch controls and the horrible endings and things. Intercepting the missiles. Three of them, all right, let's do it, Falco. Except he doesn't have the twin blasters. We gotta find them on some other planet. Until I find all the General Pepper medals and I just have... That's another thing. In addition to the homing lock-on shot, you get twin blasters to start permanently every time you replay the game. I had to look all this stuff up. I don't know where the medals are, honestly. I'm still playing mostly blind here. I beat the game on normal twice, and this will be the third time, and that's it. The very first Star Fox game, I played through it a little bit, but it's just... A puny pet rat is running about. How cute! Uh-oh, he's sending something. That's the Mirage Dragon. That thing gave me all kinds of trouble the first time I encountered it. We got two things. This is a Star Wolf pilot. Who do we have? Leon! How fitting, I'm Falco. Yeah, my strategy for these guys, because I don't know anything better yet, is to just line up on the radar, try to get on their target, and just barrel roll like crazy and fire away. Sometimes it works, sometimes, like, see how it, I deflected the shots perfectly? Other times I'm doing nothing different, but it doesn't trigger the barrel roll. And I take a hit. Man, that homing lock-on would be so useful right now. See there, I took a hit, but I was barrel rolling. Come on, you're almost done. A battle carrier has launched an attack force at ah, Croy. We don't have time for this clown. Come on, stop doing barrel rolls. You're not that good. Yeah, it's almost not worth it. You gotta have to be dead on with that lock-on shot. You're done. This can't be happening. There's one more to go. <laughs> ah, Star Fox 64, man. It's good every time. Is that thing gonna chase me? Let's go with Slippy. Because Slippy's got the shields. He could take this thing out probably a little bit better. Even if I take a beating, I can recover from it. Or though, no, I have smart bombs, don't I? No, that's right, I did pick up the... I got it back. Yeah, dude, I just totally wrecked that guy. Use the boost! All right, come on, spin around. Hopefully he's not right here. Destroying your shots. Where's your mouth? Wow, that was the easiest run of that thing I've ever had. I mean, it's probably easy every time for people who know what they're doing, but... These Super Nintendo Star Fox games, man. I'm not familiar with them, because Star Fox 64 was my first. And I played every game except for the two Super Nintendo ones since... Until now, that they're so easily available and all this stuff. I know people say the original Star Fox is still the best. But... I don't know, it's sometimes kind of hard to go back to these kind of graphics and this clunky controls. That was beautiful, though. I mean, they started off all right there. I mean, I think this is cool in spurts, and that's probably how I'm going to record it. Prepare the planet cannon? I don't think so. We'll take out this little thing, and then I'm taking down that carrier. What the heck is that? I like the little laser noises too, it's just so good, man. <laughs> That's right. But I don't know, just 
Just like Star Fox Command, this one seems to be very... little mini battles here and there, and then occasionally a full planet. Whereas the first Star Fox game was all full planets and stuff, and a little bit of space stuff, and then Star Fox 64, and everything beyond that was all like that. It's just this and Command, it's very... What the heck is this thing? I've never seen this before. Or if I did, I don't remember it. Get back here! Quit moving around! Yeah, that's right! That was a good lock-on shot, except it didn't lock on at all, it was just a charge shot. But yeah, you're graded on your time, and time is basically your biggest enemy here. That planet's about to fire three missiles! Whatever, the carrier's more important. But yeah, obviously on the harder difficulties, there's more planets that you gotta go to and take out. I think there's more carriers as well. So the game gets longer, too, on the harder difficulties. I have no idea where I'm going! I don't know where I am. I'm assuming on the center of the screen, jeez. We're heading into the asteroids. Oh, come here. Ah, well. I was gonna take him out. All right, is this one a little bit more difficult? I don't remember. I should remember. There was a general pepper token right there, on one of, or maybe it was over here. You gotta keep your eyes peeled for those things. I forget how many each difficulty has a certain number. And you gotta get them all on, a, on each difficulty in order to get that hidden power-up planet. Yes! Beautiful. Oh, no, cool one. I forgot about you. That's right, barrel roll right into you. That wasn't so bad. Clean run, sort of. These things are a joke. All I do is move to the right and occasionally tap L to make the the aim keep on centering itself. I don't know if there's a better way, but that's that's my strategy. That's how I've done it. <laughs> but it is very weird. I don't know. It just seems like what you press on the controller and what you see on the screen has a very clunky delay to it. And that's... The hardest thing to go back to. Good show! Now we can expect fewer attacks! Alright, let's get this last planet. You m what mangy cur? Mangy? How dare you challenge? How do you say that word? Whatever. Venom, huh? Whatever, the satellite could take care of that missile. Three switches again, alright. Wow, Venom looks all kinds of different. Wait, those are twin blasters! I want them. Twin blasters. <laughs> I like that voice of them. Twin blasters. Wing damage. That's right, I like how it auto-aims to adjust it for elevation and stuff. Since that's very difficult to do with Super Nintendo stuff. I don't even have a Super Nintendo controller. I know they released one for the Switch. I wonder if I could use my USB. It probably wouldn't register. I don't know, I never tried it. I do have a USB knockoff Super Nintendo one, but I don't have the one that... when they announced the Super Nintendo on the Switch. I never got that one. Yeah! Nice! What's this thing? I'm taking it out! Nice. I like flying around in the R-Wing. Even if it's very difficult to kind of see what's going on, you kind of get used to it. You just gotta focus. That was a mushroom? What the heck was that? Oh, come on! I hit you like 80 times! The defense system destroyed an enemy target. Yeah, that missile almost reached the planet. It hasn't taken any damage yet, that's the thing. If it reaches 100%, Corneria is overrun and you lose. In addition to being shot down yourself as a potential game over. So it's all very Star Fox Command. But a little bit different. Alright, let's do this. I think all future Star Fox games definitely took the ideas of this and made it better because... Really, honestly, it's just kind of hard to go back to these kind of graphics and controls. That's really all it is. It's almost headache-inducing after a while. 
Unless you grew up on it and you know it and know how to control it, but it's almost like I get the same kind of dizzying headache effect sometimes that you get if you're a passenger in a car or in the back seat. Does anybody have that? Driving? It's so hard to sit in the back seat of a car anymore. Ever since I learned how to drive, there's just something about vehicles moving in ways that you can't predict because you're not the one moving the vehicle. This game gives me that same kind of... It's not motion sickness, it's just some weird... I don't know what it is. Yeah! Alright. I've noticed if you switch between Arwing and Walker, you're, if you have a charge shot going, it gets rid of it. So you gotta think about that too as your strategy. Oh, there's a t uh, token. I better get that before I beat the boss. That's because on my two other runs, I didn't go to Venom. I went to... Maybe it's random every time. Yeah! I mean, this is impressive, though, when you think that it is the Super Nintendo. Is that it? Are we done? Is there more Star Wolf? I think Star Wolf actually comes and attacks now, right? Warp Finally, Andross' Warp forces in the Lilat system are defeated! Warp Press on! You must neutralize Andross once and for all. You got it, General. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. Let's go, Wolf. Who am I, Falco or Slippy? I think I'm Falco still, right? Worthless cowards who act tough, but I'll destroy you. Yeah, we'll see about that, Scar Wolf. It finally fits. I say that in like every Let's Play. And now it's appropriate. That's an asteroid. What is it doing here? I don't know what's going on. I'm just looking at the white circle and hoping for the best. Yeah. It's, I, in a way, I kind of, I'm glad that they canceled this game and just did Star Fox 64 instead. Because I think this would have only been good to the people who were big fans of the first one. But then think about the impact Star Fox 64 had when that launched. You're done. Like, Star Fox 64 is a huge memory for so many 90s kids. Right alongside Mario 64. Because that introduced the Rumble Pack. And this game could could never have had the impact that Star Fox 64 had. There's no way. Even if it is a good game. It's just, it's a very weird thing that they released it so many years later. But I feel like that was the right move now. Because I feel like you could kind of appreciate this from a nostalgic point of view. And be a little less critical of it, maybe? I don't know. But I like the idea of playing as whoever you want of the team. That needs to come back always. Alright. That's why I really like Star Fox Command. I think Command did this better, probably just because of the graphics, but the controls suck in that game. And the endings, that's the only thing. I feel like I said that already, but I'm saying it again. Alright, this room looks better suited for the walker. I do like this though, the on-the-fly switching. I mean, it was good in Star Fox Zero as well, but it seems like... It's more constant in this game. Whereas in Star Fox Zero, it was very selective of when the walker applied. Star Fox Zero is not nearly as bad as people make it out to be. The controls, especially that. I thought the controls, once you got used to them, it was one of the best parts of it, honestly. The only issue I had was having to recalibrate every now and then. But even more so than that was the button mapping. I remember doing accidental flips and U-turns when I didn't want to because of the fact that they were mapped to the sticks instead of the way I remembered it from like Star Fox 64 and uh, Assault. Yeah. 
think I got the hang of this a little bit. I'm doing a lot better than my other two attempts. Oh, I should probably go R wing for speed purposes. I forgot this was just looping back to the entrance part. Uh, do we go straight or right or left? I'm going right. Don't fly too low. You should can't take it. No, oh, wait. That's that's mixing two missions up together. What do we got here? Is this Andros? Not bad at all, Star Fox. That crud. Quit your shooting your Cheerios at me. Why am I messing up here with the L and the R and the stick? I'm using a joystick too, because that's the thing. I'm using the, the regular old Joy-Cons here. I don't know if it would be better with a Super Nintendo controller. My brain is telling me yes, because that's how it was designed. But yeah, this default switch joypad, the four buttons, that's terrible. I never use that for anything except for Breath of the Wild, and it's only because it's used for menu selection in that game. Whatever. Andros is a cube! I mean, he was in the first game. Erect, <laughs> erect. Old school noises. That's not the end, though, of course not. Just very slow explosions. It's like the game is trying its hardest to keep running or something. That's what it feels like. Falco versus Andros. It's about time. I mean, he helped in Star Fox Adventures a little bit. Your existence ends here. I don't think so. Oh, okay, we're going the classic way. Even though he looks like a rugby mask or something. They don't even wear masks in rugby, do they? I don't know. Well, see, this is what I mean. It looks like... Got a little bit of Andros's brain going on here. With the all-range mode. I don't know. Like, I don't know how big my R-Wing is right now in this first-person view. You can switch to third-person, but that's even worse with these graphics. You really have no idea what's going on, man. Just, again, proving that Star Fox 64... It's just so much better control-wise and on your eyes than this. Fire the smart bomb! And there you go. There's no escape sequence, unless there is on Expert, but I don't think there was, because... What's his name? Zallard was playing on Expert in that video I watched, and I don't think there was. Emergency. Emergency. And there you go! The easiest difficulty beaten. I'm curious how my score was, though. You can't skip the credits either, and it's not nearly as satisfying. I thought it was all over for a minute. You shouldn't have worried it wasn't that tough. Yeah, you tell him, Falco. Adios, Andros. Let's head back to Corneria. Good work, Star Fox. <laughs> These voices. But yeah, I might cut out the credits because it's just it displays all the enemies and it's not nearly as exciting as Star Fox 64's credit sequence. The Great Fox looks kind of different too. Weird. The end. All right, let's see how we did. Did I get the top score? I felt like I knew what I was doing better that time. Falco and Slippy, yeah, what a report card. I like this screen. The screen makes me happy. Partner, continue, not use, that's right. Come on, higher than C. No, come on, man. Dang it. Record. Is it a new record, actually, or does it just say that? This song is outstanding as well. Headphones, there's a little bit of bass going on in here, too. And that is... I love that. But it was my best. Barely. Okay, let's do the initials, which I didn't even realize my first time. But I don't know if this is going to be a Let's Play series. I think because of the graphics, I can only tolerate this every now and then. 
So this might just be a sporadic every now and then let's play. But uh, we'll see. I like the idea of being other characters, so that gives incentive to play again. Well, yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. And next time, we might go on to hard and try two different characters. And in the meantime, if you want more Star Fox, you can check out my Star Fox Assault Let's Play that I did. That was a lot of fun. I love that game. And there's a little bit of Star Fox 64 on this channel as well, and Star Fox Adventures. And maybe pretty soon Star Fox Zero as well. I might get back into that game. I don't know. We'll see. But thanks for watching. Take care.